It's been described as a resurrection. Five legislators are praying for a return to the two-party system in the NMI. Because right now, I feel like we are lopsided. Uh, the scale is now like this, uh, leaning towards one side. And what we're trying to do is jump on the other side just to try and provide some balance. Representative Sheila Babauta in an online media briefing today joining the Democratic Party's announcement that fellow House representatives Ed Probst, Richard Lizama, and Tina Sablon declare as Democrats for November. Rhoda's Donald Maglonia aligns as an independent. Sablon says funding for education and access to health care are some of the issues front and center. A truly prosperous economy is one that benefits everyone, lifts everyone up, and not just, not just the rich, not just the politically connected, or the special interests. And, and that those are really the, the values that we stand for as Democrats. Probst notes that they also set their sights on recruiting more members for a diverse slate. We, we may have an, a new sense of uh, and, and purpose in terms of uh, new direction, new ideas, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. What we are hoping for is to have a, a grassroots People's Power Movement. Governor Ralph Torres told media yesterday that he welcomes the challenge. Leadership is uh, being able to work and making the best uh, on what we have and, and find solutions rather than complaints. And uh, so um, I welcome that and, and we'll have uh, our community vote again um, in November. Tomas Manglotnia for KUAM News on Saipan.